With the lack of action taken by the Archdiocese of Agania following allegations of sexual abuse, the former sex abuse response coordinator, Deacon Steve Martinez, is speaking out about the church's flawed policy, especially since Archbishop Anthony Aperon is now, quote, an accused serial sexual predator. He's protected himself, but forgot about the, the children he was assigned to, to shepherd. His, self, his effort of self-preservation has blinded his, his command to protect. There are now two public allegations against Archbishop Anthony Aperon of sexual abuse. The first was Roy Quintanilla, who says Aperon molested him 40 years earlier at the Mount Carmel Catholic Church in Agate. And the second coming from Doris Conception, who says her son revealed on his deathbed that Aperon molested him decades earlier, also at the Mount Carmel Church. The policies are designed to protect the victims to come forward without fear of retribution. Instead, instead of protecting the innocent, he has attacked them. He has called them liars. He has called them malicious in their acts. And on, not only has the Archbishop done that individually, but he's done it on behalf of the church, and he's had his staff do the same as well. Deacon Steve Martinez, as the former sex abuse response coordinator, says he's tried to address the Archdiocese's flawed policy about two years ago when the issue of Father John Watson came up, in which the Archbishop was accused of protecting Father Watson despite knowing that he had previously been accused of sexual abuse. Deacon Martinez wrote the Archbishop twice, pointing out that Aperon had violated their policy because he failed to notify the SARC about Father Watson's past. Deacon Martinez didn't receive a response until three months later, not to address his concerns, but to notify him that he had been fired and a new SARC, Deacon Larry Claros, would be taking his place. None of the issues were addressed. None of the policies were modified or strengthened. No action was taken other than to start off with the fresh new sex abuse response coordinator. And now, two years later, Deacon Martinez says the church is facing the kind of problems he predicted would happen if the policies weren't changed. The Archbishop is, a, is an accused serial sexual predator. Because of that, he has selfishly used the policy to ignore the fact that he's in charge and the conflict of interest. But has anybody ever heard the church say, we are taking the al these allegations seriously. We are concerned for the welfare of the victims and we are reaching out to give them care and comfort. I haven't heard that. Were there ever any mentions of a, a potential flawed policy even before that? Because it would seem like from 2002 to 2014, 12 years have passed, that maybe someone might have been concerned that at some point, you know, the Archbishop might be accused and face this kind of uh, challenge. There was um, put out by the Vatican a motu proprio uh, back in 2010, 2011, which suggested to diocese modifications to make. Our archdiocese made none of those modifications. The archdiocese did not respond to our request for comment as of news time. Deacon Martinez encourages parishioners to write to the archbishop and other church leaders, such as the papal nuncio, Regarding their discontent with the Archdiocese or the Archbishop, we'll tell you how you can reach them online at PacificNewsCenter.com.